example here, 9x squared plus 4y squared minus 36x minus 24y plus 36 equals 0. So the first thing we want to analyze is what type of conic section is it? Well, you can see that there's an x squared term and a y squared term. If there was just an x squared term but not a y squared term, or vice versa, we would know that it's a parabola. Because we have an x squared and a y squared term, and they're the same sign, meaning they're both positive or they were both negative, okay, we know that it can't be a hyperbola. It has to be a circle or an ellipse, but because the coefficients in front of the x squared and y squared term are different, okay, but still the same sign, we know it's an ellipse. So that's how you can narrow it down. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna group the x's together, I'm gonna group the y's together. So let's take a look. So we've got 9x squared minus 36x, okay, plus 4y squared minus 24y equals negative 36. I'm just gonna move the 36 to the other side of the equation just to get it out of the way. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna group these together, the x's and the y's, and we're gonna factor out the leading coefficient. So if you factor out a nine here, what we're gonna have is x squared minus four x, and if we factor out a four here, we're gonna be left with y squared minus six y equals negative 36. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna complete the square, and we do that by taking half of the coefficient in front of this middle term here. So half of negative four is negative two, negative two squared is positive four. Okay, now what I want you to recognize is that because it's in parentheses, it's actually nine times four that I added out of thin air, okay, 36 to the left side of this equation. I have to add 36 to the right side to keep it balanced. Okay, so let me just do that right here, plus 36. Over here, half of negative six is negative three. If we square that, we get nine. Four times nine is 36. Again, if I add 36 out of thin air to the left side, I have to add 36 to the right side to keep it balanced. Okay, so far so good. So now we're gonna factor this. And the way that we've set it up because we completed the square is that this becomes a perfect square. And one thing that uh, I tell students all the time is that you can always look at this middle coefficient and just take half of that quantity. So if it's positive four, this would be positive two. If it's negative four, it's just gonna be negative two. If you wanna verify this, just go ahead and write x minus two times x minus two, foil it out, multiply it out and you'll see you get back the original. But this is just a little shortcut. Same thing over here, what you can do is take half of negative six, so that's gonna be y minus three, the quantity squared, equals these 36's cancel out and we're just left with 36. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide everything by 36 because ellipses, we want them to equal one. So I'm just gonna divide everything by 36, 36, and so you can see this reduces to x minus two squared over four and y minus three squared over nine equals one. So now it's in the standard form, okay, for an ellipse. 